All right, guys, so we have something very exciting going on today. Oh, there's the neighbors, dogs. This is Sarah, and she's my trailer. And my wonderful son bought her for me. No, I didn't. Yes, he did. No, I didn't. Oh, we got plates and everything. She's a little five by eight. Oh, she's cute. So this is going to be me and Sam's house. So let's go take a peek inside. Oh, she's all pretty with the chrome. Oh, her door is skinny. Oh, jeepers. Well, I definitely can't gain any weight because the door is very skinny. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm like, oh my goodness. And we're going to... It doesn't have an RV door lock, but we're going to change really, this it's around. It's really way thicker walls than mine, so I'm going to end up putting almost a deadbolt in it. Oh, that really? flips all the way up. Oh, okay. I'm a dork. There you go. Oh, there we go, yeah. So you're seeing Sarah the first time as me. Oh, those are pretty. Cool. Well, my Alan, but your Sarah's built a little... So this is going to be me and Sam's house. And it's, yeah, it's small, but we're going to make our work. Ooh. I'm trying to figure out how to do the bed. Oh, boy. It's going to have to go the long way. Yeah. The porch. I'm going to have to freak myself down a little bit. So I think the bed is going to go this way. We were going to put it that way. But I'm going to get a porch. Hoist my ass up in here. Oh, I can't. Nope. I need my little steps. See my little steps over there. Good thing it's got a ramp. Yeah. Cool. Hi, boys. Sam, this is our new house. Sam, this is our new house. He's happy. He's excited. He's like, woohoo. Me and mommy got our own house now. All right, so I want you out by tonight. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, sure. Okay. On, yeah, because yeah. we've been living in Allen here with Chris in his mansion is six by twelve so i am going to get a little porch cool yes sweet 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 and i have all sorts of ideas how to decorate her i was going to say jeepers and i'm five, six interior yeah she's got a five six girl. interior yeah so it's i can't get any taller she's already got this feels like insulation no, that's the same roof as mine. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Newbie! No glitter. No glitter allowed. I like, well, glitter if I want to. He's glittering very much lately. I have lights. I have a light wired in here. Yeah, that's that's the back tail light. When, oh. when the car is on, the tail lights... Um, turns into a back spotlight for like loading and shit. Oh, okay, cool. But you do have one little light which is gonna get taken out and that's when the car is on. The car needs to be on for it to be working. Oh, okay. That's this one in here. Uh-huh. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, that'll get taken out because we're gonna redo in here. Cool, so this is little Sarah. Cool, cool, cool. Alrighty. Whoops. Well, that's Penelope. And that's Sarah. Yeah, definitely. We're going to park her here for now and build her out and everything, and then that's going to be my little traveling rig. Yeah. And the reason we named our things is that's Betty White. And Chris's trailer is Alan Ludden, who that was Betty White's love of her life. And their children's name were David, who he named the generator David, and now their daughter's name was Sarah. So that's Sarah. So that's why we have named our vehicles the way it was. And that's Penelope Prius. I don't know, it just came to me one day, Penelope. So she's kind of the odd one out, but she's a good girl. Well, we're starting to do the remodel of Sarah here. And Chris is in there having to pry off. Trying to be as gentle as he can, but they nailed on the plywood instead of screwing it on. So he's having to pry it off. 
say, trying to save as much as we can, but we're definitely going to have to get some more plywood for her. But we got all the insulation yesterday for her. So the remodel is starting. And this is a diamond brand or diamond cargo or something. So she's starting. Now he's prying off the big ones. door frame. Well, he might be able to get it off without breaking it, but maybe not. The door frame's got to come off because it's inside the door frame. Sorry about the wind, if you can hear the wind. on top of it it's too short for him to stand up all the way in there at six or five feet six inches and he's a little bit taller than that <coughs> jobless freeloaders who are so eager to pitch in and help you know they're just little bums and poor Chrissy got it all off now finally so there's her bare walls now I'm just pulling out 150 fucking nails yeah 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 because they used a nail gun for this stuff his was built with screws in the siding so he could just unscrew it and screw it back in but no this little girl's got a hundred million nails in her so now i gotta figure out what we're gonna do with this plywood but hopefully the neighbor will take it because we gotta start over with all new well, there's all the plywood he got out and now he's in there getting the nails out Yeah, struggling. They're in metal, so they're just not coming out easy, but thank goodness he's a big, strong fellow. He's just getting them out. There we go. Now he's just going over all the studs with some spray paint because we, we're kind of thinking all these studs, they probably have a ton of them and they leave them outside because they're kind of rusty. And this little trailer was just made in January, so she's only not even two months old yet. So her and I are going to share the same birthday in January. So, but he's just going to go over all these with some black spray paint and should be good to go. So here's close up what they look like. And they are pretty rusty. Um, they were all pretty much like this. And now... I'm only doing the bottom oh, half because that one I'm, I'm only hunched over a little bit. Yeah, just a mess, but they look like afterwards they're all nice and painted and sealed up nice so they won't, won't rust again. Alright, so this is what he did. So everything is all covered up now. No more rust. Looks all nice and pretty and black. Black and silver. Very nice. What he's going to do now is there's some gaps on the bottom so you can see daylight. So he's going to start filling that in with some clock. Oh, that's a diamond plate over here. That's huh? weird. So like there, there's a couple of spots there. We're going to fill in between there, right there. Anywhere where we can see daylight, and then he's going to just go all along these guys here the whole way. Just to make sure she's sealed good. 
Well, and we're going to have an experiment here. I've been sitting outside for a little over two hours and feeling kind of crunchy, but they say carnivores don't get sunburned. So we'll see tonight. The A couple weeks ago I sat outside for a few hours and I got nice and brown on my feet. I got my tan lines again on my feet, which had completely faded from my flip-flops. So we'll see later on today how I fared. Hey everybody. Well, this is going to be it for this video. Um, as you can see, I got a little bit of sun today. Um, I feel kind of a little crispy in my face, but still not bad. I, th I still think it's going to turn brown. Because um, carnivores don't burn, get sunburned. But anyway, um, I've had a couple little bumps lately, but for the most of all, I've been sticking to it really good. Um, I really don't want to misbehave because too many side effects when I do. I get leg cramps horrible. My back starts hurting really worse again. So I'm sticking to it good. I'm, I'm behaving myself good. But anyway, that's it for today. Uh, Chris was tired. He did enough work for today. So we closed up Sarah and we'll continue on another day. All right. Love y'all. Dance like no one's watching. We'll see you in the next video.